Hello, my name is David Rakel. I'm the director of the UW Integrative Medicine Program. And this is an introduction to our low back pain module. We feel strongly that uh, low back pain, such a challenging condition, should be really managed by the person who knows them best. The relationship-centered care clinician, the primary care doc, or clinician who is in the patient-centered medical home who has a relationship over time. And particularly for something like low back pain, uh, we feel like that actually enhances the therapeutic response. This module is divided into three main categories that we are encouraging the clinician to uh, guide the patient through each step. Those three steps of the, this three-legged stool are the external or the structural therapies. Those are things like uh, acupuncture or manual therapy, osteopathic manual therapy or chiropractic. That might also include massage and even taking a non anti-inflammatory drug. All these recommendations are from the NICE guidelines, the National Institute of Clinical Excellence, an evidence-based um, summary of those things that appear to work most effectively for low back pain. The second leg of the stool is the internal, the internal emotional piece. Often this is the most neglected piece, uh, and it's probably in, in many's thoughts why people don't get better consistently over time, where we might do the manipulation, but if we don't address the emotional piece, often the pain reoccurs. So that's a really important piece that we're going to talk about, uh, and, in, and specifically about emotional awareness, about how we can use cognitive behavioral therapy, as well as pain programs, as well as mindfulness. The third stool is reconditioning. After we injure a part of the body, we start to carry it in a different way and that causes atrophy of muscles and we need to recondition the body so we have more resilience against another injury or pain in the future. We already use physical therapy excellent in this regard. We can also uh, use uh, exercise therapy, uh, giving patients handouts on, on exercises they can do, and we're going to also talk about yoga. So the most important thing is that we follow the patients over time, and if they get better, great. If they don't, we use our colleagues in the spine clinic or the pain clinic, and we ask for their help. But we need to do this better in primary care, because the best place to treat low back pain is with the person who knows them best over time. And the research has shown when there's no one good therapy that it's best if we match the therapy we choose to the patient's belief or their culture. So within each of these three areas, we offer the clinician a choice to match the best therapy for the patient's belief uh, and their culture and the one that you feel is going to resonate most with them. But one from each group is very important for long-term benefit.